Hey, thanks for joining us. It is official now that schools will not resume until January next year. Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha father says that there will be no national examinations, that is KCP and KCSE this year. As it is, the school calendar for this year has been considered lost. Shadrach Miti reports on this development that leaves the education sector as one of the biggest casualties of COVID. The country was full of expectations. Many had anticipated that Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha would make a pronouncement befitting the expectations. The least they expected was a partial and first reopening of primary and secondary schools starting this September. But that was not to be. The school calendar of this year will be considered lost due to COVID-19. The announcement came shortly after President Uhuru Kenyatta lifted the cessation of movement in and out of counties of as or coronavirus hotspots. And given the latest spike in the number of COVID-19 infections, all basic learning institutions will reopen in January next year. This only if the country experiences a consistent drop in the number of infections for a period of at least 14 days. The COVID-19 National Education Response Committee says the decision to suspend the entire 2020 academic calendar for basic education was never easy. Nevertheless, the health and safety of all learners was paramount. Many of us would be concerned about allowing children to school at a time when the number of cases that we're reporting is rapidly increasing. So this is a time when it's probably not safe to open right now. The teachers we have so far are very few, and the majority of these teachers, some of them are uh, very old. Of course, there are also those teachers with underlying issues. But perhaps the biggest casualties will be candidates who are preparing to sit this year's KCPE and KCSE examinations. The cancellation will affect about 1.8 million candidates who will now wait until the end of 2021 to sit the exams. The 2020 standard eight and from four cohorts will sit their examinations later in the year of 2021. The COVID-19 National Education Response Committee, alongside other stakeholders, dropped the initial plan to begin first reopening of schools in September after parents expressed reservations about sending their children back to school. We urge and call upon all citizens and all parents to ensure that for the duration that our children are at home, they should be safe until such a time that they will resume learning. So with the virus around, you cannot just take risk. So we are aware that this thing has disrupted learning, but it is collectively everybody's life has been disrupted. You realize even parents have lost jobs, people cannot even pay rents and so on. How if we could only hold to our horses and deal with the virus and then we open when things are a bit more relaxed. Meanwhile, all learners in grade 1 to 4 and standard 5 to 7 as well as form 1 to form 3 in 2020 will remain in their current classes in 2021. The cancellation of 2020 academic calendar has, however, only affected basic education. Teacher training colleges and Tibet institutions will be allowed to reopen from September, subject to strict adherence to the Minister of Health COVID-19 protocols. Universities are at liberty to consider first reopening. They must be inspected. And if you are inspected and you don't meet the requirements, you will not be allowed to reopen. Shadrach Mitty, Kitty News.